Like, what was Jesus? Again, you go back to the Bible. Jesus said, I submit my will to the will of the Father. Do you know what the word Muslim means? It means I submit my will to the will of God. A Muslim is someone who submits his or her will to the will of God. If you, if you were to tr translate that verse in the Bible, where Jesus says, I submit my will to the will of the Father in Arabic, he would say, I am Muslim. That, like, literally, that's what it would say, I am a Muslim. Do you follow me? Yeah. So you, are, you, are you submitting your will to the will of God? Or to the will of the church? Will of to the will of God. Gee, you're a Muslim, fam. <laughs> you're a Muslim. Well, you said it. You, you just tell me I'm a Muslim. That's just the way you're saying it. But me personally, I think I don't. I don't class myself as a Muslim. I don't. Jesus classed himself as a Muslim. Yeah. No, but he didn't say I am a Muslim. But okay, when we're saying he said I am one who submits his will to the will of God, you gotta go back to what, what does that mean? Like if, if you go open up any Arabic dictionary, you go to the root letters of that word, you're gonna find someone who submits their will to the will of God. And that's Jesus. So the way I'm saying is that if you're trying to follow Jesus, gee, you have to be a Muslim. What do you say about that? Are you a Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> I've had too much, it's making my brain out. Uh, it makes sense. So it makes you're a Muslim? Sense, so you're a Muslim? Answer the question, are you a Muslim, yes or no? No. Are you a Muslim? He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. No, I'm... I'm it, okay. It, okay, let me ask you this. Are you a follower of Jesus? Are you a follower of Jesus? So today you're not a follower of Jesus, yesterday you're a follower of Jesus. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> you know how's your mind thinking? Uh, yeah. You're a follower of Jesus. So okay. you're a Muslim? No, no, he's doing my job for me. No, what I'm, saying, what I'm saying is follow what Jesus is saying. Mm. Jesus is firstly saying, I didn't come for, the, for anyone who's not from the children of Israel. So are you from the children of Israel? No. 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 Yeah. So off the bat, Jesus is telling you, like, I didn't come for you. For me, it's like, imagine there's a chick here, yeah, and you're like, I love you. Yeah. She's like, I don't love you. Yeah, yeah. She's mm. like, you're like, no, but baby, I'll take care of you. She's yeah. like, go with me, I'm going with him. Yeah. It's like, that's what Jesus is saying, like, okay, I know you love me, I love you too. But God didn't send me for you, he sent me for, for, for these guys. And then just so you know, don't, so you don't feel bad. There is he, someone coming for ah, all of you. Exactly, there is someone coming for all of you. So then, now, as far as you're concerned, if you really are following Jesus, the, 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 you know you said that piece of the puzzle that's missing? Mm -hmm. You know what that piece is, G? Is who that person is. The one that Jesus said, this guy is going to come. Now, some people might tell you it's the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But then I say, Jesus said, I ha if you look in, in the Gospel of John, he says, I have to go so I can send him. But when you look at the beginning of John, the Holy Spirit was already there because it came in the form of a dove. Mm -hmm. And he didn't need Jesus to go nowhere because it came on top of Jesus. So we know we can't be doing that. That's, that's the church's interpretation. I want to know what Jesus said. Jesus said he will testify of me. And you know, but see, then, then, then there's a stake. There's, 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 there's a thing, you know what I'm saying? There's a bit of a like, a, do, what do I have to lose now? Because when God gives you a command, I mean, if you look at the Old Testament, if you, do you know when God punished the people? Every time he punished the nation, do you know why he punished them? Because they were, they were acting they were in the right ways. They were but moving. They were denying. They denied who? God. The messengers. Oh, yeah. the they denied the, the messengers and the messengers were speaking the word of God. Exactly. Majority of the people, those who a messenger or a prophet was sent, because they denied the prophet, they denied the messenger, then God, after a period of time, was like, okay, I, 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 I do everything for you. You misguided, you were misguided. But then I sent one of my beloved slaves to you to call you to truth, but then you humiliate him, you kill him, you do X, Y, Z, you try to threaten him with your life, now it's curtains for you. So what we understand is that when the messenger becomes present to you, and then you deny the messenger, then it's peak. And this is what the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, and this is harsh words. If you, if you study the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, you know he's a soft guy. And you know we always hear him, Jesus is love, Jesus is love, it's true. But even Jesus, he knew when to be a man, when he had to be a man, because he said, what, you think I came with a sword, you think I came with peace? I think I came, I came with a sword. Mess with me. I love you. 
and I'll always give you manners and love. But then when push comes, because remember, you're not violating, you're violating God. Yeah. So then when you look at that, you find in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there's the same parallel. You see him so soft, but then at the same time, look what he said. He said, if a Jew and a Christian hears my name, and because of the prophecies of me in their Bible, he rejects me, that person will enter the hellfire. That person is going into the hellfire. Do you follow me? Because God sends the Prophet down to tell you what God wants. And as you said, rejecting the messenger is rejecting God. You follow me? So I'm saying, off the bat, when you follow what Jesus is saying, you follow all these, you put all the pieces together. Which side are you on? Are you on Jesus' side? Are you on the side of the church that introduced paganism and changed the scripture to the point where you don't have what Jesus said anymore? I'm on Jesus' side. You're a Muslim. And I mean, that, that means you're on the side of the Prophet Muhammad. Mm. Peace be upon him. So are, are you on that side? What side? <laughs> I'm saying that taking everything into account, are you on Jesus' side, which is the same side as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or are you on the side of the pagans that came and changed the religion? I'm on the side of Jesus. So that means you're on the side of the Prophet Muhammad. And, and it's true, this, this gives me more certainty in my religion because God told me that you are the closest to me. So when I speak to you and I see you clued up, you're like, no, a bunch of people who changed the book and I see you actually trying to implement this. You're talking about being grateful to God. And that kind of stuff brings tears to my eyes, you know. That's how I know there's, there's, there's real belief in your heart, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But do this one thing for me, right? Do, do this for me right now, just, just right now before you go. You see this book right here? It's a book of guidance. You know, we pray five times a day. We read the first page of the prayer every day we say we say you alone do we enslave ourselves to referring to God and you alone do we ask for help and the help that we ask for is guidance we say guide me God I want you to guide me because guidance is everything guidance gives you a nice wife guidance gives you a nice job guidance gets you to paradise you follow me in the very next page when you turn over God says that this is the book in which there is not even a smidgen of a doubt where there is guidance for those who love and fear God those who are aware of God those who before they do something they'll think is God going to be happy with me or not and I think that you're like that so this is the book of guidance when you have a question ask the question to God ask the question in your mind open to any page in this book 6,000 odd verses, just under 6,000 verses and wherever your eye lands, read that section and think about what's God, what God's saying. I want you to try that right now. I, 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 I want you to try that right now. Just ask a question, say, ask yourself. Say, is this, I don't know, maybe something like, is this the real religion of Jesus? I don't know, like, ask, ask, a, ask a question, yeah? And listen, but the thing is, you must be sincere because remember, God said that this is a guidance for those who are muttaqun, those who are conscious of God, yeah? Ask the question sincerely. Say, God, if this is really your book, let me know. Let me know. All right, all right. If this is really your book, God, let me know. All right. Read it out loud. And we had already destroyed generations before, before you when they wronged and their messengers had come to them with clear proofs, but they were not to believe. Thus do we recompense the criminal people. Then we made you... Uh, successors in the land after them so that we may observe how you will do and when our verses are recited to them as clear evidences those who do not expect the meeting with us say bring us a Quran other than this or change it say oh, oh Muhammad it is not for me to change it on my own accord I only follow Yeah. What did you just read? Summarize for me. I just read what I was talking about. You what were we talking about? Everything, everything I was fam, talking about. Everything we was talking about is here. Like literally, right. literally, literally the question he asked, it was answered. There are no magnets in this book, fam. Five, six, six thousand odd verses, G. And that's where you happen to land. <laughs> I was about to say, but that's, uh, I don't know about that. That's mad. But like I said, see, this, this is the thing, G. You ask for guidance. The only one who will be refused guidance and will cause to enter the hellfire is the one who rejects the guidance, G. This, this is me just being real with you right now. 
Like, bond the cameras, bond everything, yeah? This is just me being real with you. When the guidance is presented to you on a plate and you reject it, that's when... It, remember, what, what did God say? They, they didn't think they would meet me. So they rejected the messenger when it was made clear to them. I don't know what to think. Man. 